I wrote a forward to my friend Cameron Haynes' book, and uh, which is right now the number one selling audio book in the world. I, one of the things that I said was that he practices an art that very few people appreciate, and it's the art of the maximized life, and that the discipline that he displays in his life and through his practices and all the things that he does, it, it's so difficult to live the way he lives that for someone like me who understands it and knows what he's doing and appreciates it and appreciates how insanely difficult it is to have a full-time job and run ultra marathons, get up at four o'clock in the morning, run a full marathon before work. Like that's the kind of shit that he, he does when he, when he's training for these 240 mile runs, all the, the main, at the same time being like a father, um, a husband, uh, having this full-time job, also being the best bow hunter on earth, lifting weights. It's like, how is he, how does a person do this? So like, in, in a way, discipline is art too. Yes. It, discipline is art. Yeah. I think it is. Cause it's beautiful for me to see. When I see someone who's really truly disciplined, who like a David Goggins, someone who just like truly maximizes the grind, I feel like there's an art to that. And there's an, there's an art to kindness. Like there's people that are really kind and really sweet. And when I'm around them, it's beautiful. It's like a, there's an art to them. No matter what. Yeah. They still, they got, you know, the world can throw a bunch of shit at you, but through all you know, of like, that. Eh, just... Some people are just great at it. Yeah. And it's a, it's a thing that you learn how to do. And it's pleasing for other people to see. And, and that, I think, is where the art is. Well, I think Bukowski also said, um, and I'm just a Bukowski quote generator today. I love him. <laughs> I love him very much, too. Uh, he's a dark and troubled and fascinating and a weird person, like Hunter S. Thompson. Yeah. He said, what matters most is how you walk through the fire, I think. So there's a bit of the Ken Haynes in that, too, David Goggins in that, mm -hmm. too. What do you think he meant by that? Well, how you walk through the fire. I mean, you can walk through the fire complaining along the way, or you can walk through the fire and create an example for everyone else so that the, the trials and tribulations of their own life seem trivial because they're comparing themselves to the way you handle things or the way you handle things with grace and dignity and discipline can show other people that y they can handle their own life this way. And there's there's beauty in that. There really is. And there's so there's so much so much inspiration to be gathered from other people. If you're a charitable person, if you're charitable and 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 compassionate, and you 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 can look at people, even even people I don't, that I don't like, I try to look at the best aspects of how they live their life and 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 recognize those aspects, admire them, give them credit for it. There's something that we can all get out of watching the way other people live their lives.